Hey guys, I'm Cheryl Luck with Off the Jacks and I'm here today with Lisa Meyer and her custom truck. So Lisa, I know you go to a lot of shows here in Las Vegas and this truck is unmistakable. I mean, I, I see Different. it and I'm like, oh, there's Lisa. So yeah. what kind of truck is it first off? It's a 1955 F-250. It came from Indiana. It was a frame off restoration by a fireman there. It made its way to Las Vegas by a guy named Jason. Jason had it for a little while. He was getting into it with quite a bit of money and his wife wanted to redo the house. So they sold it. Once they sold it to me, Jason and I became friends. Jason's been following me ever since I bought it and liking every single post and so happy when I win. He's one of my biggest cheerleaders. And you win a lot. It's fun to win, but it's not everything. It's more fun to be with the really cool people that I've met in the car community. My husband and I have horses and we've shown horses our whole lives and this is a whole new field for us. Um, my husband's also redoing a 1952 F1 pickup at the moment and our daughters have Mustangs. Our daughters have a 1966 and a 1964 and a half that they show. They're sort of losing interest as they're in their 20s and they have college life and going out with friends. So that was why I asked, could I get this truck to my husband? And so it came with the flames. Was that it the did. firefighter thing or He Jason? did everything. The only thing he didn't do was the interior. And I have a couple funny stories with this truck. Uh, one of the funny stories is I got the trucks, was super excited. We were doing something for Veterans Day and I had driven my truck to North Las Vegas. I live in Henderson, so it was quite far. And when I got there with my son at the time that I believe was 12 or 13, I get to the show and one of my friends in the car community looks down at my tires and says, I think you might want to have those tires checked. After that show, I made my way to discount tire. Uh, my truck, when I first got it, was slammed in the front, which was quite hard to get up and down curbs and in and out of speed bump areas. It was kind of awful. Uh, one of my friends, Ike D. Herrera, and I went to the junkyard. That's another story. And we got new springs, and that's another story for the front, raised it. But uh, my friend was right. The discount tire guy, who was quite slender, made his way under the front of my truck, took a picture because I did not believe it. The tires on the truck were 20 years old. Oh. I was driving on 20 year old tires. I did not know it. And I had gone quite far. Like I said, it was in North Las Vegas. I live in Henderson. That's two opposite sides of our town. So that could have been interesting. You know what? Yeah. Because that break <laughs> loose and then there'd go your new truck. Yeah. And you'd be doing a lot more. Yeah. And at the time it. with it being so lowered in the front, we would have had damage to the body. Oh yeah. The fender would have been ripped to shreds had I gotten a blowout. Not good. So That's why you have to check your stuff. God was watching me. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you take this out, I know that you do a lot of just the regular car shows around. How often does this get like a best in show? Because I know I see you all the time with I've like a best a in show. I've couple and I've been very shocked. I mean, when I go to these shows, I see cars and I'm like, I don't have a chance. And I just have fun and I talk to my friends all day. And then I walk away with a trophy this big or a plaque or, and I'm just like, I don't believe it. I still don't believe it when I have them sitting at home looking at me off of my fireplace hearth. I'm just like, I, I don't believe it. But it, it's cute and it, I mean, you can see it. It stands out for sure. It's different. I haven't seen another one in Vegas. It's a funny story also how I ended up with the truck. Not many women want a truck. Most women want to have a pretty car and I always wanted a truck. I had an uncle who was uh, into cars when I was growing up and he influenced me at a very young age. And when I met my husband at 27 years old, we have 26 years together. I said, I, I really, really want a truck before I die. And he was like, okay. And he started working on the 52 and it was just taking so long and I was getting impatient. And I said, well, I found this truck and I really want it. And he said, no, you can't have it. He said, it's gonna take away from us finishing the 52. And, and he says, I just really need to concentrate on one. I've been involved in the girls' Mustangs all these years and we've gotten them to a point where they were done. And I just said, oh, please, please, I really want this truck. And he says, I, I just can't believe you like that truck. Are you sure that truck just has so much on it? It's just, it's gaudy, why do you like it? And I just said, I just love it. I love the way it's put together and it's different. And I wanted to be different. I didn't want to be like everybody else. So 
I'm definitely not like anybody yeah. else. Hey, but that's good because I always know when, when I see video or pictures or something, I can spot your truck. Now, some of yeah. these other cars, I have a really hard time. Who is that? Or, yeah. you know, yours, I always know. Yeah. And talking about ladies at car shows, I know that I see you. There's, there's it's a small a handful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And do you think that, how long have you been doing car shows with this? So I bought this in October of 16. And so it's been a short time for me. I will say this, the car club community consists of a lot of retired men that yeah. are total sweethearts. They welcome me with wide open arms, but it's not full of women. And the women that do come, I'm just thrilled because I really feel like it is something for everybody. And it's just a really nice way to relax and talk about something that you all love together. It's just a lot of fun. And I think that's part of it. And I, I'm seeing even in the past year, more women. I don't know if they're just bringing out their cars more or if they've gotten, you know, more women have gotten Some more cars. More women have bought cars since I've been on the scene. I've yeah. noticed that. They were coming with their husbands and, and now they have their own and I'm thrilled for them. And, and they're genuinely wonderful, sweet people that you know they just want to enjoy a hot rod and and it's not normal for a girl to say and my husband i'm my husband's worst influence because i <laughs> tell him all the time buy it get another one and you know i mean we would have a slew of them and and you know not all women feel that way and that's okay but um you know it's just and with me going and doing the shows and video and stuff i know that i'm one of the only females true and everybody thinks, oh, Brad drug you here. And I'm like, no, I wanted to come. Right, and right. that's why, like with you ladies here in town that I'm meeting, I feel excited because I think the female community, car community, is going to grow. I do too. And I really do. And it's okay, you know, for a girl to like a hot rod. You know, one of my best friends, her daddy has a slew of them. And, and she's loved them since she was a little girl too. So I don't know, it's not for everybody, like I said, but I think it's starting to catch on more and I do feel like more women will get involved. And with this, this isn't just your regular old hot rod. What kind of specialty items inside? Because I know this isn't like it was back in the day. No, it's not. So I do have some different things in mind. Um, I have cowhide seats. That's not something that Ooh. you see a lot in Las Vegas. I do have air conditioning and <laughs> that is a must. And I have to give a shout out to my friend Ike that found out that my air conditioning was hooked up improperly and fixed it for me. And ever since then, it's been blowing ice cold. So uh, I have a stereo, I have speakers. I have speakers right above my head, which is nice because I like to blast the oldies, you know, when I'm doing the cruises <laughs> and everything. So, uh, I mean, everybody sort of personalizes theirs when they get them. And I certainly have done that with new tires, with new springs, with new radiator. Uh, I had and airbags. I love these. Those are different. <laughs> yeah, those came that way. I had airbags on mine and they were not hooked up. I don't know why. I, I never understood why. I did hook them up and I did redo my exhaust um, by a great guy in town, I would recommend. So, uh, I mean, you do personalize them when you get them. You do. Yeah. You make it the way you want it. I wanted seat belts. I felt more safe. I do a lot of road trips. Because so you drive this all I the do. time. I do. I really do. So I wanted to be safe and I have my family in there with me sometimes, you know, and, and I wanted everybody to be safe. So some of the stuff on the truck tends to be very masculine. I do have a lot of skulls. I have skulls on my rearview mirror. I have skulls on my automatic shifter. Um, it does have a lot of Harley Davidson theme. That's definitely not girly. Um, so I guess I'm just not typical. And the thing is, what's girly and what isn't, I don't think it matters anymore. I think, right. you know, in the car community, it, it's all blending. Right. And I think that we'll probably see a lot more women out with cars come another year or two. And so you're gonna have to keep this shined up yeah. So that you can keep racking up those awards. <laughs> <laughs> and then lots of times when I see you, you're also dressed in pinup that I do. matches. I do. Sometimes it's fun 
to dress for the era and I do have all the garb and it has been a lot of fun. Uh, sometimes, you know, it, it's just fun to just throw on your flip flops and shorts and go to a show and, and other times when you dress up, I will say you will not get one break when you're dressed up. People want pictures. pictures of you the whole day Yeah, and it's, you know, a lot more work. It can be more, I guess, relaxed in the shorts and the tennies or flip-flops or whatever and and once you dress up it's on you know people yeah, are that's that's come gotta by be mine. fun come by my car <laughs> yeah what you gotta do is get you a little tin cup and say yeah that all you know come on <laughs> and they'll just think you're one of the guys we'll from work downtown. for car parts <laughs> yes there you go get yourself a sign yeah and from now on when someone wants a picture come on cough up a muffler yeah. i'm looking for a muffler yeah. guys yeah <laughs> Yeah, they definitely are pricey to maintain. I will say that I did have to put a new engine in mine Ooh. after I got it. Yeah, and um, I had receipts showing several thousand dollars of, of upgrades for a rebuild on transmission and engine, and I guess it didn't hold up. You know, it lasted me October to January, and I had to get a new engine. So uh, stuff happens. I mean, you definitely are going to have, you know, issues. So. Well, yeah, you knew whenever you bought something. That's a possibility. Right, right. But I want to say thank you for thank coming you. out and Appreciate letting it. us look at your truck. And if you guys are in Las Vegas and go to any shows, you're you're going to need to watch for Lisa. You're going to recognize this truck because I guarantee there's not another one there. And if she's dressed up, be sure to bring auto parts so she can you can have a picture with her. <laughs> <laughs> no auto parts. No picture. We're going to lay down that law. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank and thank you. you for getting us out at the dam today. It was wonderful. Thank uh, you. Had a good time. Thank you. So you guys be sure to subscribe. We've got more car interviews coming up from Las Vegas. Thanks. Bye.